where we left off. Uh, doing side quests. Uh, end game side quests. I'm assuming... I'm not even sure what I'm assuming. But I do know that once we finish all these side quests, then I don't think there's any new hunts right now, actually. So I'm nervous. if we can do all the side quests tonight, then we well, can maybe move it. on. This is the initiate. Ember, present yourself. I have a feeling and I'm not going to finish all the side quests. Please, just sit. There are no masters here. Uh, early your enough. Is your own. Oh, so yeah, next time we can thank you, Sid. The go to the final area. Me at my trial. To become a scout, yes. You are aware of the dangers inherent in that role. I wonder if there's like a, even am. another. I swore I'd face him. Just like the man who saved um, my life. Story arc. Gav. It was him who found me and freed me. No magic, no support, just one man and his nose. Came and sniffed me out. It taught me what one man can do if he puts his mind to it. And I've been training ever since, so that one day I can be someone's savior, just like Gav was mine. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be flattered. <laughs> you clearly have good intentions, Ember. And it sounds like you're under no illusions. Stick to this path and you'll make a fine curse breaker. So, what? Have I passed? <sighs> You haven't even started yet. Now listen. Not far from here is an Imperial lookout, East Watch. The guards there record all their sightings in a logbook. You are to find it and bring it here. And bring it here, right. Bring it here. Anything else? No. Sneaking into a heavily guarded Imperial outpost and stealing the logbook would be quite sufficient. You'll need to assess the situation, determine a point of entry, create a distraction and effect an escape, all without being discovered and thrown into an Imperial oubliette. Ember, Gav isn't our best scout because he can do everything. It's essential that you know your limits. Know my limits, right. I won't let you down. <laughs> He's gonna get stuck somewhere, we had to go find him. Pretty sure. It shouldn't be as dangerous as I made out. But keep a weather eye on him all the same, would you? On my way. All right, Ember. Impress me. Get on my joke, boo. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, the main story so far is we got all the icons. Everyone's dead, <laughs> pretty much. All the uh, baddies, pretty much dead. Uh, we even fought Ultima, and practically, well, I guess he we killed his control over us or something. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but uh, after we destroyed all the mother crystals. Uh, the world, of course, is still falling into further turmoil and craziness. Damn it. <laughs> it's a wyvern. Ember, draw your sword. Uh, uh, God. Then run. <laughs> then run. Um, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Keep dodging too early.
Yes. Mm, so yeah, a new like area opened up, a new like floating dungeon opened up. So again, once we do all these side quests, that's gonna be the next place we go. I don't think I'll finish all the side quests tonight, but well, maybe we'll finish them all, but we won't have really any time to start a new area. We'll see though. Gone. Of course. Mm. Gone. Scouts really are a rare breed. <sighs> Back to Northreach it is then. Uh, but yeah, I wonder if it's gonna be like thirteen in the case that there's still like post game stuff to do. Oh wait, post game things to do after we beat the final boss. But yeah, what happened to uh, Ember? I didn't expect you back so soon. Where is Ember? How did he fare? I thought I'd find him with you. He must have fled. I followed him to Eastwatch, where I found him being set upon by a wild Avis. He was just standing there. Didn't even draw his sword. I had to step in and take care of things. But by the time I had, it's he gone. was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I assumed he'd set off in your direction, but apparently not. Oh, I'm sorry, Sid. I knew the boy had a nervous streak, but he seemed like... The right man for the job? Oh, what? I believe this is the logbook you tasked me with retrieving. Oh, we probably went inside. How did you... Don't you tell me you breached the tower while Sid was busy saving your skin. What? Wasn't that what you asked me to do? To bring the thing back without getting caught? He has you then, is there? <laughs> yeah. And he did it all on his own. But Sid, he... He did what he thought was best. And now I have to decide whether I agree. Of course. We'll await your evaluation back at the hideaway. Don't you leave my sight. <laughs> yes, Sergeant. <laughs> Smug look on his face. It's like, I did the mission. You know. This won't be an easy decision. Right. So there's another side quest. Oh yeah, this place is getting uh, turned into a fortress because of the whoever who has a name, the Count or something, decided to. Even though he's just some politician, really. Do you have a moment, Clive? So we'll what see how things have progressed. It's the Duke. I'm yeah, the Duke. His eminence has assumed full control of the garrison and put every able-bodied man to work on the fortifications. The town was left all but unguarded, so Philippe was compelled to form a citizen's watch to fill the void. And though my dear boys have been characteristically willing to assist him in this, they want for bodies. Bodies. So I was wondering if you would lend them your strength, that the people of Northreach might sleep easier, if only for a few nights. Sounds good to me. Of course. Whatever you need. Thank you, Clive. What would I do without you? Philippe told me he had men stationed at... Where can I find the mistress of this establishment? What? Here, my lady. Wait, oh, she's the Duke's the somebody. My name is Sabine. And it is my displeasure... To oh, daughter. ...to the Duke of Oriflam, who I understand is causing you and your town no small amount of trouble. I wish to speak to you about what might be done. Very well. Let us speak. Let's speak. I trust you'll forgive me, Clive. Absolutely. Our conversation can wait. Please. Please, please. Proceed. As you know, my father is a most overbearing and supercilious man, and I join you in objecting to his every action. <laughs> Indeed, I owe you my thanks for continuing to argue against his reckless plans. Yeah. Yet I fear... He is not one to be swayed by reason. No. He must be made to face the consequences of his actions. And who would make him do this? I would. Myself and several other like-minded individuals. Were you to join us, 
we would surely have the strength to drive him from Northreach for good. Does that not seem a trifle? Drastic. Drastic. Drastic action is precisely what is called for. Unless you are content to see your people downtrodden and dispossessed. My father would have it that citizens exist only to serve the Empire. That they should be forced to make every sacrifice to ensure her revival. But he is wrong. It is not the people who must serve the Empire, but the Empire who must serve her people. <sighs> He's always been like this. Scornful of the opinions of anyone he judged beneath him. But he cannot be allowed to ride roughshod over the common folk any longer. We must fight him. By all possible means. Fight him? Fight him? No. My purpose is to quell the tension in Northreach. Not to stoke it. Respectfully, my lady. Our only chance of saving this town depends upon every one of us uniting against our common enemy. Your father and his followers included. While I understand your frustrations, I cling to the hope that he may yet be won round. False hope, I assure you. <laughs> but I see that your mind is made up. I shall bother you no longer. If you will extend me the same courtesy. <laughs> I bid you good day. I bid you a good day. She certainly has spirit. <laughs> Indeed. But unfortunately for us, that spirit is only likely to harden the Duke's resolve. Which may be enough to seal the fate of this town. Not that she cares. This is all about her and her father. Families. Um. I'm sorry, where were we? Ah, yes. I was about to tell you of Philippe's plans for the town watch. But perhaps it's better that you heard them from him. I believe he's in the market, if you'd be so kind as to seek him out. Right away. Right away. It's just a pity I cannot join you. I'd like to see the two of you in action <laughs> together. Under new management too. I wonder if there's a part three. So whatever happens in the keep, or whatever. Or not the keep, but origin. I'm sure uh, the game will continue with some post-game stuffs, whatever that may bring, but we'll see. What does the dame have to say about? Believe. So you are content to abandon. The A what? Please, I beseech you. If you are a true son of Northreach, you must fight to defend your home. That's exactly <laughs> what I am doing. So no, against really. the Akashic. Or trying to, at least. The land is crawling with fiends, and someone has to keep watch. Even when our true enemy is hiding in the garrison? Fine. You're not the only able-bodied man in Northreach. Thank you so much for your help. And she cornered you too, then? Could hardly get a word in edgeways. Like father, like daughter, eh? She made an uninvited appearance at the Vale earlier, hoping to convince the dame to join her in fermenting rebellion. <laughs> I bet that went well. Her ladyship seems to have a way with people. Anyway, what brings you here? Our mutual friend thought you might welcome some help. Oh, she did, did she? <laughs> right as always. In fact, you're just the man. We've had some reports, you see. Sightings of, uh, you know what. I know what. They're back. Seems that way. All over, too. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, but if you're willing, you could go and see what's what. Right. Where should I look? You know Grieger's Weep? One of the sightings places them somewhere on its shores. I'm on my way. On Thank my way. Clever. I'll look into one of the other sightings. Let's rendezvous back here later. That's not too far. Damn it. The reports 
were true. I need to stop them before they get to the town. Actually, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> Makes killing these guys so much faster. Call that a test, Ultima. Clive, it's me. Hello. Are you all right? I am. But it seems the reports were true. The thralls have returned. I dispatched the few that I found, though. Well, that's something, I suppose. But what were they doing south of town? They all came from the north last time. We might be able to fend off an attack from one side or the other, but from both? Do you have eyes in the north? Some. I should probably go and have a look, though, just to be sure. Now, you head back to Northridge. I want you there just in case war breaks out while I'm away. <laughs> what do you mean? Her ladyship's been busy working her magic on the townspeople. Stirring up ill feeling towards her father. But she'll have her marching on the barracks if we're not careful. What? This is exactly what the Dane was afraid of. I'll do what I can to calm things down. Be careful out there, alright? Don't worry, I'm not like you. <laughs> One sniff of those things and I'm running back to town screaming blue murder. Blue murder. Oh. Do you not see, father? The people of Northreach have given enough, and only a fool would ask for more. Listen to me, Sabine. Where would our people be without their country, hmm? The Empire is their sword and their shield. It is she that ensures they can live without fear. But now she teeters on the brink. Without their sword, how will the people fight? Without their shield, how will they protect their kin? Can the unarmed stand against the advancing hordes? No. But there is yet hope. A new shield, a new sword. A new empire. We can rebuild Sandbrek, just as great Grieger wills it. Perhaps we could, father. But we don't want to. Not if it is built on the broken backs of the people. Please, let us not quarrel in the street. You must see that no good will come of this. Our fight is not with each other, but with the threat that draws ever closer to our gates. A threat that your sword has yet to rid us of, your eminence. You will hold your tongue, whore. What? You may have filled my daughter's head with your heresy, but I will not be corrupted. What a bitch. Your daughter's opinions are her own, as you would know if you had ever deigned to listen to her. At least I hope they are your opinions, and not posturing born of a family feud. Northreach deserves better than that. Northreach deserves better than you, Carla. Yes, I know who you are. The slut of Twinside who bedded a bandit. <laughs> Jealous, are you? A what? That a woman might choose a bearer over a pious man of Grieger. Right. I met a swarm of thralls coming south from Oriflam. Hundreds of them. Too many to count. Oh, fuck you. No work on the fortifications has scarcely begun. 
We will retreat to Cair Norvant and there make our stand. Did you hear me? That was an order. Are you gonna protect these people? While this is but a heart Hey, what's up, browsing son? Let us make our stand. <laughs> still going strong? Yep, I'm still going strong. How have you been? Together for North Reach. For North Reach. We have just been chilling playing a lot of MTG Arena. Do I know what that is? Wait, what is that? MTG Arena. MTG. But she is but a common digital collectible card game. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I've been getting through a bunch of these Final Fantasies. Um, as we know, 16 just released two months ago. It's been two months. And I've been playing off and on. I'm at actually at the very end of the game. I'm just doing a bunch of side quests. And they look like following them. I got them spaced out at regular intervals. Um, Whichever direction the throw strike. I'm not 100% sure how much of the main story is left. Thank you, Philippe. I feel like it's only one or two more main arcs. The Hermist has donated her stock of medicines to me. I believe we'll be done with it. Take them to the veil. We'll see to them there. Um, afterwards, I was thinking about playing Persona 5 Royal, actually. You still want for I've been putting it off for like two I'm years ready. plus now. I only hope I can go so to definitely a good time. Philippe, can I leave uh, so I've actually been uh, itching, <laughs> itching to play Persona. Those are some long place. games, yep. Yeah, play through 12. Office 12, 13 trilogies. I had to skip 15 since I ran out of time <laughs> and then 16 came out. Um, I'll eventually go back and play 15. Thank you. But probably after me playing uh, Persona 5 Royal. Um, off stream, I've been playing a bunch of Street Fighter 6. And I actually just beat the story mode for Mortal Kombat 11 last night off stream. I've been meaning to do that for a while and I finally did it. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Uh, you have to 99 a job in 11 and 14. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know, I've actually never really played... Well, I definitely didn't play 11. Um, and are the servers still up for 11? I don't think so, right? But I only played 14 for like two sessions <laughs> I, I can really get into it because of the mmo and yeah it's too much time investment even though again i've been playing all these other final fantasies but there's like a definitive end point so it makes it easier for me <laughs> to just stop there are so many of them so many not for long oh yeah one of the newer summons we got is Odin and his special thing is once we felt the Zentetsuken meter on the left side you see there to level 5 it pretty much one shots all normal enemies within range anyways and I found out there is like a range limit to this but yeah activate it and everyone dies Pretty sure it's gonna be a second wave. Oh, big boy! So yeah, Zentesican will actually not kill this big boy. So he's gotta kill him the old-fashioned way. Oh, one second. Kill these guys first, and then we'll read your comment. Ow! Yeah, so this um. Icon ability or summon ability is Bahamut's and I have to charge up Mega Flare by being in this kind of form. Only thing I can do is actually dodge and upon dodging it actually fills up a meter by a bar I believe and then the highest level is level 4 Mega Flare. 
Wait, have you played uh, much of this game at all? Nope, not today. Maybe a limit break. And then I just throw everything <laughs> at them once they're down. Stream cut out for you. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but OBS has been glitching out a lot today, <laughs> actually. Um, yeah. yeah. I can't really explain the mechanic there, but for some of the bigger enemies, they have an extra stagger bar um, that you have to deplete so that they can be fully staggered. Um, so yeah, that, that was that big guy right there. Maybe we'll run into another big guy, but better hurry back to town. Come on, Toggle. Yeah, thirteen two. Yep, pretty much like the thirteen series. I think um, Crisis Core was like that as well, right? I don't remember. That in um, FF Seven Remake also had the stagger system. Uh, but yeah, this game also has a stagger thing, but only for big enemies. For smaller enemies. Uh, they get hit stunned like normal. Just keep hitting him, and right. they can't do anything. <laughs> it's good to see you. Um, you. The road to Oriflam is clear. How did you and your men fare? Well, we ended up fighting for our lives. Slow to the end of time. Had it too. A few nicks, do I remember? The the I played that like two years ago. Glad to hear it. So I don't remember. <laughs> it seems we've survived, for the time being, at least. Um, Thank you both for answering the call. Speaking of Star Ocean, uh, I know the newer one came out. Star Ocean 6 came out. Um, I haven't played it yet or even purchased it. But one day, I'll get it. I heard they're remaking the second game, which is pretty cool. Because I have never played that one. I also have never played the first one. And I believe they've remade that one as well. We don't know if we want to play any other Star Oceans. Um... That's fair, because I didn't really like 4 as much either, because 4's main character Edge did not feel like Fate at all, <laughs> like his fighting style, even though they're supposed to have pretty much the same fighting style. Um, things didn't combo the same, so I was not <laughs> as, uh, I don't know, I didn't like it as much. Uh, 5 was pretty much a flop, I don't know what happened with that game. Uh, played it two or three times in my life, but each time I'm like, <laughs> this doesn't feel like a, fa or a Star Ocean game. Mm, that's just one of kind, yeah, with the whole 4D space thing. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty nuts. Um... I forgot. But yeah, take it you haven't played this game at all. 16, I FF16. I'm sorry too, father. <laughs> if I know they were in video game, yeah, that's crazy. It's like uh sort of online pretty much. Well, but like if they were in the game already and not the players entering the game. Do not blame yourself. Yeah, that was definitely like mind blowing because <laughs> I played that when I was in middle school. Your eminence, your ladyship. I do not doubt that you came here with the best of intentions. I actually didn't want to watch you I because I didn't want to get spoiled, but I probably won't play. Ah. <laughs> safety, security, oh, would you watch a walkthrough? I'll probably uh, upload all my parts I've been recording. And we may yet achieve it. I don't know if you want to watch you me again. grind <laughs> through this whole game. This. I think I have like... Yes. 17 parts of like multiple hours <laughs> per part 
Now that that is settled, I must go and see yeah. the wounded. The Vale's doors are always open. I'm at part 19. So it's, today there are more than it's probably over 40 hours of gameplay. I'm gonna upload. Oh yeah, this story is crazy too. I love it. Kind of reminds me of 15 in a way, but definitely different. You watch this post? Nice. I uh, uploaded my 13 playthrough. I was in the process of upgrade or not upgrading, uploading 13 part two. I kind of. Forgot to put the rest of them up. <laughs> Lightning returns. I actually didn't finish it all the way. I got to the final boss, but I rushed too fast and I didn't grind enough uh, gill to um, kind of get the last day buys for like the better weapons and armor. And so yeah, I was not strong enough <laughs> to beat uh, Lightning returns. Uh, I do plan to go back and finish it, so I'm not sure when I'll do that, but Since there's nothing we'll see. Done here, I should see if Isabel needs any help. I almost have three kingdoms, 13, I used to watch like two, three, four plus hour videos of the gameplay. I almost have three kingdoms. Can we get you anything? Is that like a separate franchise? Because I know about Dynasty Warriors. I don't know if there's... Like a game. Also, Three Kingdoms. Thirteen. What is it? There's a video game. What's that? Is it RPG or JR? Or not JRPG, but RTS. I mean, I feel like I've seen it in the past, but no, it's a new game, isn't it? it says it's a new game. Get on Steam for 60 bucks? No, it's not new at all. <laughs> it's 2016. Why does it cost 60 bucks? <laughs> Interesting. Mm. It's a RTS for Three Kingdoms. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing that, actually. I'm going to look into that now that you've said something. I'll put it on my wish list. I'm not going to buy it for <laughs> 60 bucks. Especially I have so many games on my backlog to play through. No need to worry. Way too many. I saw several soldiers. Yeah, I think there's only a few games I would actually buy at launch, which 16 was definitely one. But How goes the treatment of the wounded? I'll be happy to man one end of a stretcher if it was just help. massive. <laughs> You've helped quite enough for one day, Clive. Thank you. Don't mention it. Oh, but I must. We bought the deluxe edition for eighty. Wow. Town. It is the very least you yeah, I'll definitely put on my wish list and maybe I'll get it one of these days. If Northridge had four, try it out. So I do like our, our RTSs. Is I played uh, Starcraft two for a little bit, but I never played it competitively or PvP. I always played the cooperative mode. It's a long story. It'll never go down? Oh, Koi doesn't know how to lower their prices and 14 is out. Oh, doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Very well. Long so does that mean there's like I had a life in the 13 Lake. other games? Like previous versions of, of that game? So sought after was I that it was only they who Watch Yubu or Lubu, Lubu Fang, Shen. On YouTube to learn, it's hard. Oof. For naive as I was, I fell in love with a bearer. Bear. Who's this bear? Guard, oh. The gentlest man I have ever known. After they discovered us together, he was whipped bloody and forbidden from ever looking at me again. Dang. And so we fled. Oh, yeah, that's one of the main Not themes of this Final Fantasy, you. is that... We and there's some people who are born with the ability to use magic. Um, does everybody else have to have crystals to channel magic? But there are some people who can actually, uh, yeah, just cast magic without using these crystals. And so, for some reason, they are treated as slaves and stuff, which doesn't make any sense. I guess because they're different. Um, 
And say they're called bearers, meaning they bear the magic within them. Or bear the ability to channel magic within them. And people who are found out to have such powers are branded. And if you see our character's face, Clive's face, he has like this big old patch scar tissue on his face and that used to be his brand which kind of looks like two swords um crossed on the face um so yeah so the bearers get branded and the branded get treated as subhuman which is weird because they're if anything superhuman <laughs> being able to cast magic without Thank you uh, for sharing this again, with me. using crystals to channel the ether around them. So yeah, the main, I guess, drive of this game, well, it's kind of twofold. The main thing is to destroy all the mother crystals, which are where we get all the crystals from. So they just like shave off some of the crystals to distribute among everybody. Um, so we actually reached the stage where we destroyed every single mother crystal. And even the Duke of Oriflam and his daughter uh, all united in defense of this town. Not quite done yet. Our path to make everyone equal. Or at least have the bearers become you know not second rate citizens, but Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, he has a playthrough of the third game. Oh wow. So there's so there's a lot of pre- Romance of the Three Kingdoms games, whatever. It reminds me of the Circle in Dragon Age. I, mean, I haven't played Dragon Age. I've only played one in Dragon Age, and that was Inquisition. Back in like... I don't remember. <laughs> Probably like... Before 2015. <laughs> I don't remember when I played it. That was a long time ago. Um... Let's see. How uh, some magic users have to become tranquil. Oh man, some of this, some of this terminology that I don't remember. Um, so yeah, before there was like these crystals everywhere. This big old pillars, like the new last mother crystal. It like just formed because we had just destroyed every other mother crystal. So this. Uh, city had a huge mother crystal formation, and this one had one too. And uh, there was one like right here in the desert randomly, but yeah, a bunch of places. Oh, yeah, there was one in the waters over here. Um, but yeah, we went around and destroyed all of them, so yeah, they can't uh restock the empires or the people's crystals anymore. So hopefully, that would. Somewhat, you know, bring equality or at least make bearers even more valuable or something. I don't know, we'll see. I still don't know where the story's gonna go. Uh, the other part of the main story is... Uh, our character has the ability to siphon other... What we call dominance. People who have the ability to channel summons or... Aeons, or they call it icons in this game. So yeah, Shiva, Shiva, Bahamut, Odin, all of them. Uh, they had human counterparts that are dom called dominants. And yeah, we went around and took all of their uh, all their powers. So we have all of them <laughs> in our bodies that we can channel. Pretty cool. We can't actually summon the actual. Icon though, I am. I refuse to let but them share in my disgrace. I don't. <laughs> Whatever you want to call. Them. Will. But we can only channel their skills, really, which is sad. Uh, there are times that we actually transform into Ifrit because we are a dominant ourselves or Ifrit. Um, but those are usually scripted battles. We can't just freely transform, which would have been nice, but. Uh, it's definitely overkill, especially when we have so many you, powers. I will not forget this. No more. 
Are you still here? What is it, Ferda? You look pale. There's been a flood in the Velcroy. A damn it's big a flood. flood. The League of Outlaws encampment was completely submerged in ether. What? Every last one mm, of them. Yeah, my goal tonight is to finish all the side quests. This way. So tomorrow I can hopefully beat the game finally. After over 40 hours of doing everything, really. <laughs> Need to evacuate. And even then, I don't know if there's going to be like post game content. Further, the men. Um, the may strike at any this game also has hunts, like in the well, previous Final Fantasies. Yes, my lord. But uh, the final five have not spawned yet. Change of plan. The children stay with so me I'm assuming you to find and it's either going to be post game or it's going to be another Understood. story section after I'll do what I can to the current else. story section. Wish me luck. But we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know if you follow my gaming YouTube channel, but yeah, I have a playlist of a bunch of different games on there. A bunch of Final Fantasies for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, how do I get there? Um, let's do this side quest. I think we'd better shut up. What's Lubor raving about now? I <laughs> ran too far. Let's see. I don't think it's upstairs, actually. Oh, I am very dumb. <laughs> Anyways. It's you. <laughs> These two. want, Lord Underhill? To pass on an important message. There's been an ether flood out in the village. It's funny because we made up a identity. <laughs> so that we can talk to uh, these two. They're pretty much the leaders of this area. One's like military, the other one's like mer merchant. And who was it who gave you this disturbing news, might I ask? Um, or perhaps but again, the man spreading the same poison out in the square as we speak. You may believe his lies, my lord, but we know better. But yeah, like, um, like everyone this. hates bearers. And it's funny because, like, you can easily see the mark on Clive's face that he used to be a bear. Like, it's like the same, what you call it? The same mark. But I think it's because the brand that bears get marked with is where your sympathies lie i forgot exactly what it is but it's like a poisonous ink so if they try to take it off then they could potentially kill themselves <laughs> i don't know it's crazy this is true so you can be certain of that now be off with you so people are like there's no way you can be a branded or x branded because if you try to take the mark off, you are gonna die. Come, Clive. If our words will not move them, then we must find another way to help save the town. Right. Uh, right. Let's speak to Lord Ferda. We need to evacuate. That's Lou Boy. That's not Ferda. Ferda's over here. But yeah, as fun as I am having uh, with Final Fantasy 16, I'm definitely reaching my uh, burned out. Phase of the game. I just wanted to end. Lord Ferda. Sid, what's wrong? I went to warn Conrad and Natalie about the Akashic, but they won't listen. They listen. They've convinced themselves that nothing Lubor says can be trusted. The bloody fools. <laughs> Which means the town guard can't be counted on for support. But I can. Oh yeah, we can do anything. anything I can do to help you defend Dalamil. You only have to ask. I appreciate it. Sid, further! I've been looking for you everywhere! It's Victor. Victor? I thought you'd left. I couldn't abandon a friend in need. And Blue Boy is in need at this very moment. Come quickly! Uh oh. 
have to believe me. The Akashic are coming. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They don't tire. And they don't care who they kill. They're unlike anything that's come before. There won't be no parley, no mercy granted. We may have saved the town once, but this is different. I do not ask that you forgive me, but please believe me. If you do not run, you will die. You will all fucking die! Oh, damn. What? <laughs> He said, fuck. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you, bearer? Yeah, with us out of the way, your kind will be free to claim Dalamil for yourselves. No. You should run. <gasps> Bruh. Run, bearer. Yeah, yeah. yeah run. run. Yeah. Far, far away. Yeah. yeah, what's messed up is that Lubor here. He's always been like one of the most influential and helpful in the city. But one day he was protecting uh, a kid. Yeah, one of these kids. And he used magic, but he forgot to like keep a crystal nearby to uh, kind of fake that he can, that he was channeling it from a crystal. So yeah, that's how they found out that he was a bearer, what magic caster. Ever do to you? Hmm? He solves all your stupid problems and he keeps all of you safe. You know there's nothing he wouldn't do for this town. Who was it who made that cleaver you use every day, Conrad? <laughs> what about your counting table, Natalie? Who fixed yeah, that? bitch. <laughs> Ungrateful bitches. Whose men make sure the streets are clean so all your boots don't get dirty? Who spends all day every day making sure things run smoothly around here? And none of you ever say thank you. Ever. But did Lubor ever complain? Well... Does he ever stop smiling? He keeps this whole place going! And you act like he doesn't even exist! Got him. <laughs> Lubor, we have heard enough. Wait! We will not run. The town guard will not abandon the very place it is sworn to protect. And I will not give up for lost the stores that we labored so hard to fill. <sighs> and we fight together. So tell us, how do you propose we deal with these Akashic of yours? We won't run, but we will fight. All right, then. Yeah, we're just gonna need one Clive. <laughs> it's us. We're so overpowered. Fine. Gather round if you don't want to die. <laughs> but yeah, the other story, or like, thing <laughs> about this game is, uh, so if people, I guess, are, or take in too much aether around them, then they get poisoned by the aether and become Akashic. Allow me to explain this. Which are kind of like undead-ish. Hey, Rex, what's up? This guy. It is me. And it is you. How are you doing today? decided to make it their base of operations. Hope you've been well. Now they're all turned, and if the scouts reports are correct, heading in this direction. How's the ink, Elf? It's purple <laughs> AF. Oh, I meant to take another picture of it. 
utterly unpredictable. They do it right now. Post on Discord. We at least yeah. knew how and where they were likely to attack. When these creatures come, so I was told that uh, the bitterest fight it has ever faced. Once it turns hands. purple, <laughs> that's actually when gate. it's starting to heal the most. South. Both forces will provide so men to serve I... scouts and messengers. Ready to spread word of the size and nature of the Akashic um, Force as soon been icing as it spotted. Yeah, it's soaking in, have some salt water. Been, we will converge on its position. What day is this? Is day four? Back from at it's happening on costs. Tuesday. Conrad, can I count on the support of the town guard? Always. Let's see, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I leave the selection yep. and coordination of the messengers in your hands, Victor. And the command of our men um, in yours, Ferda. But it's still a little bit swollen. And Consider it done. the purple is wish. here, <laughs> so Natalie, I, would I am definitely recovering pretty smoothly. Uh, this time around, I'm actually taking Advil. Before, I actually wouldn't really take Advil. I kind of just tough it out. But now I'm like, why? <laughs> why would I do that? Um, as long as we survive, it doesn't matter what I was here we might looking for a bit, but uh, here to hang a bit, doing all right. About to get that, super busy this week. I'm super busy. Oh yeah, no, losses. not yet. Um, well. Why super busy? Tell them. Where do I fit into this um, so still gotta take it slow. Yep, else, I'm still limping around. And getting up in the morning really sucks too, because that's when it's the most stiff. And so, before I even get up in the morning, unless I want to hurt <laughs> while limping around, I have to just sit here and like massage my ankle before I get out of bed. Because yeah, everything's stiff and fluids swelling up my ankle and stuff like that. But yeah, once the swelling goes down, I should be free or like relatively back to normal. If anything, I think the swelling is what making it harder to walk. Once the swelling goes away, then yeah, most of the pain should also go away with it. Uh, work stuff? Here, there. Yeah, I'm about to get busy next week too. Um, I actually stayed home <laughs> for two days, Wednesday and Thursday. I was gonna try to go in yesterday, because I don't usually go in on Fridays. But I was gonna go yesterday to make up but I'll just try to make it up on Monday and Tuesday <laughs> for this pay period. That's the you know good thing about my job again is very flexible with hours because my tasks and duties aren't uh, mission critical. But uh, still got to be there. <laughs> the flood. The flood. The water's waiting for us inside. Oh yeah, like I was uh, explaining a little bit earlier. Um, so you see this dense blue mist. It's what we call ether. And if regular humans, you know, soak it up too much, then they can become a Kashik, which are these enemies we're about to run into. It's a Kashik foot pad. So yeah, these used to be regular humans, but they got poisoned by all the aether. So now they're just like mindless, hostile. Uh, whoops. Hostile entities. I'm just fighting these guys for no reason. Alright. Let's get to this. A what? Yeah, a what? Oh, I got very far away from the main objective or side quest objective. Badmins! So I technically did take my vitamins before I streamed. And my other vitamins are too far away. <laughs> Get my calcium pills and stuff. So I'll have to take those later. Yeah, I don't feel like getting up. Because ankle. <laughs> well, actually, I could take my prior probiotic. I did not take that yet, actually. So I realized my multivitamin, they want me to take three of them. Per day, and I took two. Maybe I should just take them now. I'm gonna take my third one. See my multivitamin. So you can actually smell the vegetable. <laughs> like I can kind of smell hints of garlic on this. You <laughs> can taste it.
Yep, and here's my probiotic. Supposed to help with digestion and gas. <laughs> uh, I hate swallowing pills. <laughs> They're big. Staying pretty regular. What do you mean by regular? Oh yeah, since I charged up my Zentetsuken, I can just use it to kill everybody in one hit. That's so good. There's more though. So yeah, we got Odin's powers today actually. So yeah, now we have access to Zentetsuken. Oh, it's a big boy. Big boy. What do I mean by regular? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean by regular? <laughs> it's like you said, Rick. I'm confused. Uh, Mom's talking your ear off. No. Yeah, I've definitely. Definitely know the pains of that. Yeah, nice. No, so you guys are both here. So again, here's the stagger guy. Ow. So yeah, I just gotta break his yellow bar and I can do heavy damage to him. So yeah, Bahamut, uh, in order for me to use Mega Flare, I have to be in that Wings of Light stance. And the only thing I can do is dodge. <laughs> oh, yeah, once he gets halfway, he becomes uh, stumbly, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Tilted. Ow. Ow. <laughs> and then with uh, Garuda, I can use my big old claw to shove his face in the ground. I totally forgot my setup. I'm totally distracted right now. So I was supposed to use this. Use that to charge my Zentetsugin bar a little bit more for next fight. That was what I was supposed to do last time I pulled him to the ground. There we go. Nice. Uh, am I at the end? Uh, kind of. I think there's like one or two more main story quests left. But I'm just taking this time to do all the side quests available. I think these are the last side quests of the game. I want to say. The league is disbanded. Yeah. I should get back to Dalamil and see how the others fare. Um. So yeah, I think the rest of the stream will just be me trying to do all of these side quests. I'll probably do all of them before I head out for the night. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so you've both been here for a long time. Long time. All the Akashic we were able to find oh. have been um, Browsing's been here for three years. I've been here for two. Here, perhaps. Lubo, two and a Clive fourth. Has returned. Almost third. Clive! What news from Charitina? It's done. Root and branch. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Thank you, my lord. Mm, Kaj really cool. yeah, he's a really cool Friends, character. He's been through a whole lot. Back. The in the story. Defeated, and we 
Yeah, the story is definitely great in this game. Um, Victory is ours. We bloody did it. We bloody did it. We saved Dalamil. But um, Lubor. Allow me to apologize. Definitely doing side quests made it so After the main quest is not so death, bad. So I'm like, I think I was like ten levels ahead of and where I needed to be for are, the previous main quest. We only hope that you can forgive See the strongest in the series? Uh, I would say so actually. Because, again, he's absorbed all the powers of every summon in the game. Um, all one that would come close would probably be um, Noctis from 15. Because it's kind of like the same idea where in 15 you go around grabbing all the king's armaments. Or like special weapons. And he also had the rings of... Uh, Ring of Lucille, I think. Um, but I think Clive is stronger overall. But I will only accept your proposal on two conditions. I'm actually about to hop in this Discord, though. I'll be back if you're still on. Though. Yep, I should be on for another couple hours. That you will both do everything in your power to rally your. Oh, are you in our course. new Discord? Or is my new Discord? Do not accept my leadership. <laughs> Eight hours of streaming. Yeah, I'm in it to win it. Yeah, I made a separate Discord from uh, the Golf Squad Discord. We shall need to call on our combined strength again. When that time comes, I will expect together. Every summon. Yep, everyone in uh, the story, anyways. You have our word. So we got Shiva, Ifrit, Phoenix. Bahamut, Titan, Ramu, if I am to lead you, Odin, of did I say Bahamut already? I don't remember. Shiva. <laughs> yeah, we got them all. Within our walls shall be afforded the same rights as any other <laughs> James like, I'm homebound, so I just sit and stream now. Yep. They are, yep. And plus, I've been skipping Saturday volleyball. Because uh, my knee's been to do, and not so cooperating <laughs> for like the past three or four months. And it's only recently that I figured out that it's because my sciatic nerve pain somehow affected my knee, so I've been trying to rehab from that, so I try not to play on Saturdays because that's a more competitive venue, and I'm over here just trying to mess around and have fun. <laughs> um, you should skip it all, you need to rest that ankle. Yep, yeah, I haven't played since the incident on Tuesday, unfortunately. It was really lame, too. <laughs> like... It should not have happened. Um, but again, people just don't know how to play safe. <laughs> they just rather get the point and how kill everybody in the process. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not so long ago, you play a volleyball game? Nah, like I'm good. It's funny because there's one person that keeps saying I should get the volleyball now, game that's on the Switch. That it's leader. pretty fun, actually. Yeah. But I'm like, mm, nah. <laughs> Fine enough, I don't usually play sports games. Sports and racing are one of the Few genres I don't really play. About the children. Fear not, you are of course relieved of your responsibility. Hmm. I would sooner face another horde of Akashic than see them brought up as outlaws. Same except for Mario Kart. Sure yeah, even Mario Kart, I don't actually own you will. Mario Kart 8. Not just the children. Is that the newest Mario Kart? I don't know if they ever came out with another Mario Kart. I'll do my best. Can't have all your hard work going to waste. I mean, I guess PS1 games I do enjoy, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, didn't they make a, like, a remaster of that game or something? Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Mario Kart for the Switch is the newest. Yeah, I think my sisters have that. I think I played with them, like, once. So I'm kind of like, meh. <laughs> Not sure. Ooh, Breath of Light Impulse. Mm, that's not... No, Impulse actually rec recovers pretty quick, so I don't really need that. I was just playing with a few others before I popped in. Nice, nice. Did you win? Are you winning, son? <laughs> that meme is so funny. Uh, there's two more side quests. In oh, there's three more side quests in this area. I'm gonna do all of them. 
Like, I don't know how many more side quests there are that I haven't done yet. I think I've completed three. <laughs> three of the nine that I think are available. And in this game, we get a chocobo. Chocobo. I really do think we're going to get an airship later on, but it's not going to be used for travel per se. It's going to use to like for main story purposes, but not for traveling because we can just fast travel using these warp points. Carava. Carava. You want several? We got a crown. Nice. Well, there's the admin toys. Big turtle. And we're getting parts for uh, this airship we're going to make. Or we're not going to make it, but. It looks like we found it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, as long as I'm in this Bahamut form, I'm dodging way too early. I have to, like, perfect dodge to get free or, like, a quick Mega Player charge. Rip and tear, rip and tear. Ow. Alright, let him have it. Alright, let me turn down the volume a little bit. I see it's kind of peaking. Don't need to lose our hearing. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I almost stunned it again. It's stunned again. Oh, dang. <laughs> we get Joshua in our back, our brother. And with a fire beam. Nice. And went to a shell. Yep, she's gonna make that airship. So yeah, the final area we need to travel by air. And so far in this game, there's no airships. Uh, so we're gonna create the first one. It's cool, you know, they do throwbacks to previous Final Fantasies with. Not only the naming and all that, but also with the airships and ships. I travel by air. Oh, what? My lord, I trust your journey was not overly onerous. Onerous. You found the letter from father. Yes, I have it here. Daddy. If you would do us the honor, my lord. My beloved sons, I know that I ask much of you in this coming war, but I see no other way to secure a future for our duchy and our family. Yet, even should we succeed in subduing the savages and winning back Drake's breath, the threat of the blight still looms, and only with all Rosaria striving as one might we at last overcome it. I have made plans to see us through, but such are the obstacles that stand in our way. It shall likely fall to you to convince my work, or continue my work. I know that you have the strength, the courage, and the will to do so. This shall be an arduous inher inheritance, and so I offer you another, that you might be reminded of the love and the faith that I hold for both of you. Your father. An inheritance? Inheritance. It would seem the late Archduke 
penned this missive shortly before his passing. So before we left for Phoenix Gate. What are these plans he spoke of? His plans for the duchy, your grace. Your father entrusted them to my predecessor, the former bearer of the burning quill, who entrusted them in turn to me. The complete emancipation of bearers mm -hmm. is their stated aim. But your father's dream did not end there. His grace also spoke of building hospices to care for those stricken by the curse and the founding of a new university to further the development of non-magical technologies. With the blight spreading ever more widely across the twins, Archduke Elwyn saw this as the only Oh yeah, I forgot that's the name of our dad, Elwyn. He wished to see men and bearers treated as equals. To see centuries of common wisdom overturned. Small wonder he did not think it achievable within his lifetime. But he thought it achievable nonetheless. Had he not, he would never have written this message. Nor would he have entrusted his vision to his most faithful aides. Those who would have stood with you, shielded you from the machinations of the less benevolent personages at court. Machinations? Pity only they are still with us. Hmm. It is true that those most loyal to your father were the first to suffer the Duchess's wrath. Oh yeah. But one at least. Yeah, our mom uh, was crazy in this game. <laughs> but she uh, met her end as well. She explained, my lord. She. After all, the duties entrusted to me by my predecessor extended only to recovering His Grace's will and arranging a meeting with the one who might execute it. Or a part of it, at least. And where is this woman? She awaits you in the archive, your grace. Thank you, Cyril. Shall we then? Shall we? We shall. Going to the archives. Hello? Who are you? My lord, your grace. I... I hardly recognize you. I am Goditha. Retainer of what? House Rosfield, <laughs> loyal servant to the Phoenix and his shields. Your oh. father, the Archduke Elwyn, entrusted me with the delivery of a gift. I only hope you can forgive my tardiness in bringing it to you. Lift up your head, Lady <laughs> A what, indeed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a god at the service to our house and to our father. I merely did my duty, as any proud. And be, I would say like. For the most part, the whole game felt like Witcher. It's like Witcher vibes. Because <laughs> it's technically with doesn't really feel like a Final Fantasy game. Um, again, there's a bunch of elements, obviously, but gameplay-wise, doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy. And yeah, I think it's because it's active time, meaning action-oriented. Not even turn-based at all. <laughs> so. I think also because of the time period it's set in, it's like medieval times. Definitely feels more Witcher. From us, even before they could be completed, he had intended to claim the Hearthstone. Oh yeah, another game I've been meaning to play was uh, God of War Ragnarok. I'm not sure when I'll do that, but we shall see. I also have a Horizon Forbidden West to play. Yeah, I still don't know <laughs> when I'll do that. Um, yeah, next week I have a lot of uh, work I should be focused on, especially after missing a couple days due to his injury. So I don't know how much time I'm actually going to have. But yeah, I definitely probably won't be playing volleyball for... Honestly, I should probably sit out for the whole month. But... I'm pretty sure I could play in like two weeks. 
two weeks uh, for sure, but we'll see. Of course. <laughs> you are forbidden from the West once a wet. May our father's will be done. Oh, I am much obliged. Do you know where we might find this heartstone, my lady? Heartstone? I do. Though it may be a matter of a good deal more than simply happening upon it. It is found in the bellies of Elder Griffins. Griffins? We do at least know where to find one. A certain specimen has made its nest in Titan's wake. It looks like we're to fight a griffin. A we actually haven't fought a griffin in a long time. Most perceptive, your grace. In answer to your unspoken question, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you Rex? What are you playing nowadays? Aside from Mario Kart. Yeah, take it easy. If I were you, a month to rest sounds like a good idea. We shall see. <laughs> we'll see if I can stay away. To Zelda. Are you still playing through Tears of the Kingdom? Say you, Joshua. What else? <laughs> oh. Uh, we're gonna go fight some griffins, looks like. Slay Simurg. Titan's Wake. Oh, there's something right here. Do T and die. We must not be hasty. Oh. The good lady has been disappointed once already. Oh, you finished it. You know, weeks ago. Is there another side quest with this guy? Marquis, if you have a moment, Playing Oracle of Ages, nice. One of our brethren lately I'm to remember, is that one of the in order to pursue a Game Boy or like handheld Zelda's? He sent an owl some while ago, but yeah. we have heard naught from him since. I heard of it, but I never seen it or played it. The object of his study was a savior cult that has arisen in ash in recent years. I feel like I've missed out on a lot of Zelda's over the years. Like after Twilight Princess, I kind of fell out of the Zelda <laughs> games and stuff. And then I think Breath of the Wild is when I finally came back into the Zelda mix. Um, I did hear of Skyward Sword, and I know that they brought it to the Switch. I still haven't played it though. <laughs> I don't know. The third chair, a master of the arts of combat. Yeah, I wish I could just survival. play games all day, <laughs> all day, every day. Silent, Not worry about having to work or anything. I have thus far refrained from sending any others in search of him, lest they be lost in turn. Yet it seemed only right to inform you of the situation, given your unique experience of the perils of Ash. As you so never owned Orc of Ages growing up, but I did play Seasons, so now I am doing the few I haven't finished. He just being one. Nice. It's funny because when she says Seasons, I think of Story of Seasons, which is like um, Harvest Moon. <laughs> but I know you mean like there's a Zelda. I've been in total of like 13 Zelda games so far. Wow, that's a lot. Which I remember I played. Minish Cap, the two N64 ones, Wind Waker, and Breath of the Wild. Oh, also Minish Cap. So I played six. Six Zelda games. I think I played Four Swords, but I don't know if I beat it. I do remember playing Four Swords. Arc of Seasons? Oh, I gotcha. Alright. So I have no idea what that side quest is about, because I was busy talking to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I guess we're doing this one. Let's fight that griffin! Fight that griffin! Hmm, what I also need to do is uh, just work out. <laughs> I've been saying that for ages. Just work out. Ready, go. If I can just do like, I don't know, 50 push-ups a day. Even if it's like spaced out throughout the day, then I'm pretty sure that'd be good enough. But I feel like if it's spaced out too far, then uh, it doesn't really do much. I think I would have to do it within like a half an hour time period. Hello, Smurg. <laughs> Warhouse Rossfield. 
That was early dodge. Oh, that didn't count as a dodge, apparently. There it is. So I need those kind of dodges to quickly charge up my Mega Flare. Ow. Ow. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. So you never had four swords because I always thought it was only multiplayer. For the GameCube one, you can do solo. So you ordered a copy last week. Still haven't gotten it yet. No. Yeah, I did. I did play the GameCube one. I think. I don't remember. Kinslayer. I'm done. I'm done. Part two. I'm <laughs> so, so dumb. <laughs> Anyways. No. Nah. Too slow. Sun. Very good. Should be dead. I hope. It's dead. <laughs> it did. Heartstone. Oh, two of them. Is this the Heartstone? I expect Lady Godotha will know. Here you go, ma'am. Oh, thank the founder you were safe. The griffin is slain then. And the heartstone claimed. Yes, this radiant luster, like frozen flame, is just as your father described it. Thank you, my lord. Your grace. Your father would be so proud. Lady Godotha, the lapidary is ready. What? <laughs> the who? Oh yeah, I should probably order more protein bars. Sometimes my two last two cliff bars. <laughs> the armbands are complete. Armbands. Take them. Oh. They are yours, after all. Heartstone is harder and more enduring than garnet, or even ruby. Garnet. It symbolizes unwavering will and devotion. And the graven vines encircling the stone represent the unbreakable bonds between you. It's Us. Father knew we had enemies both inside and outside the duchy. Enemies who would thwart his vision. Only with unwavering devotion would it ever be realized. And only if we stood together, as phoenix in shield, as brothers in arms, only then might those enemies be overcome. Indeed. 
it. His Grace knew the enormity of the task he would entrust to you, his heirs. But this was more than just a message. It was a promise. That he would always be with you. I said. Thank you, Lady Godetha. Yeah, it was wild early in the game. Yeah, he's dead. Their dad died. Very brutally, actually. They showed it. <laughs> Pretty much. It's wild. Even if the armbands were incomplete, she would surely not have overlooked them. So, how were you able to keep them from her? Because I was the keeper of the vault. Though I was but a lowly servant, your father spoke to me of his intentions for the bands, of the deep love he had for both of you, and his hopes for your future. In the days before the disaster at Phoenix Gate, I discovered that the Duchess had ordered her jewellery be sent away from the castle. It was then uh, that I knew she meant to betray us. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I tried to warn your father, but it was too late. When word of the fire reached Rosalith, I knew my time was short. So I took up the armbands and I fled into the night. Wow. And thank the founder you did. That's all she took with her. My duty to your father was incomplete. Not knowing what else to do, I followed the griffin, thinking I might claim the heartstone on its passing. And so my pursuit continued. Until Lord Cyril appeared. Cyril. Him. He informed me that his grace's will had been recovered. And that his sons were alive and well. Lady Godetha, on behalf of my father and all the people of Rosaria, I thank you for your loyal service. As do I. Thank you, my Dang. lord. Imagine, like, your grace for coming back to us. Staying alive for oh, what? In my service, meaning. Try to think of the timeline. 18 plus years, 20 years. And founder's grass. Oh, that. It's new armor. Oh, yeah. It's funny because like, I just made the sun bracelets. Plus twos. But sorry, overshadowed by the side quest item. <laughs> it's so funny. That's just how it is, though. Suit you well. True. <laughs> True. Gratifying to finally receive the inheritance that was uh, yeah, definitely side quests in these kind of games are it is. worth doing to make you, you, you overpowered, <laughs> so you can uh, take care of the main quests very easily. So I've yet to actually struggle with anything really. Maybe some of the hunts because I was just being dumb. Let him see that you have received. Have given me trouble, but in terms of the main story, it's been. Smooth sailing. I suppose it would be churlish not to. Churlish. What do you say, Clive? Should we pay your father a visit? I think we should. I was hoping to be able to offer him my thanks before we left for Origin. Yeah, Origin. Your father's helm is enshrined there. It has been since, since the day we recovered it from Oof. the Phoenix Gate. I prithee claim it, for it too is a part of your inheritance. And I do not doubt that your father would prefer it in your hands than perched upon some lonely rock. We'll we'll probably get it and uh, put it in our room. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. Yeah, in Clive's room, there's a whole like wall of like trophies, I guess you can call them. Just things that commemorate various different on, side quests and moments in the story. Alright. Let's go to this other side quest part here. Uh, let's go here and use the chocobo. Like women? No women. <laughs> Badness. But, I will say, there is a romance with uh, Jill, one of the lovelies in this game. There was actually a very spicy scene with them. I won't spoil it. I don't know if you ever will get around to playing this game, but very spicy. And of course, there's also uh, my VODs whenever I end up uh, 
uploading them to YouTube. I'll probably upload the 13 series first. I should have been uploading it, like, every night. Like, a few of them every night, but I just didn't think about it for some reason. Time to fight. If you do be in a while, I have five other FF games to play first. Yeah, so many Final Fantasy games. So I forget if you said you played like seven, eight, nine originals. Um, I'm pretty sure you played ten. Ten two, if I remember correctly. Maybe I remember it incorrectly. Best but not finish them, only finish 10. Nice, yeah. 10 is definitely one of the best ones to finish. Are we killing people? Seems a little tense here. Turn coats and cowards, the lot of you! If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! A what? <laughs> oh. So we're gonna kill everybody. I don't need your. Please, uh, Field Marshal. Oblige him. This won't take long. Oh, yeah. You're right. It won't. <laughs> It'll not tend to? Aw. Finish him. Finish me? What to finish you? Oh, I messed up. I messed up. It's okay, though. They're dead. <laughs> I meant to make it a level 5 to guarantee the kill, but I guess 4 is enough. <laughs> a little longer than I'd have liked. Oh, really? That was pretty quick. <laughs> How much faster did you want to do it, Clive? <laughs> yeah, ever since I got Odin's, like... Pretty much if you need to kill regular enemies, then... Yep, use Odin. Use Odin's Centesticon. You arrived just as our escort turned on us. A what? Fucking traitors. Oh yeah, they throw F-bombs <laughs> all over in this game. I think it's the first game they actually like... This is the first the mature Final Fantasy so game, I believe. The of the Republic. Every other Final Fantasy has it's been T. Disgrace. T for teens. Your interfering old bastard of an uncle tried to warn me, of course. But yeah, they definitely went Game of Thrones. Style and you know, my Lord Marquis. they didn't actually show pure nudity or nips, but there's actually been nudity <laughs> in this game. Definitely a departure from previous Final Fantasies. Before I agree to anything, I'd have you answer one question. Yeah. What do you stand to gain from all this? I won't deny that I might benefit from further chaos. But I seek a new beginning for all of us. And while the choices I've made may not always have been the right ones, I know I made them for the right reasons. For so long, so many of us have been told how we could live, how we could die. Yeah. When it should have been our decision all along. Yeah. Now we have a chance to put things right. But in order to take it, we must stand together. Even if it be beside those with whom we don't see eye to eye. Certainly not the words I expected from an outlaw. But perhaps your uncle was right. You are no ordinary outlaw. I never hear the end of this. <laughs> All right. I'll start by ordering my most trusted guard to bring the Dalmechian fringes under control. Next, I'll make contact with my counterparts in the Imperial Army and see if I can't convince them to try and restore. It's very interesting now that all of the different. Um, but they are not the only one. Nations. Um, no longer have an edge against any other nation because we called all of their dominance, which again are people who get summoned, kind of summon icons to the field. To words, um, well, so the playing field's all evened out an for the most part. One who can court even the most stubborn of statesmen. Hmm, perhaps. I'm flattered. 
but I'm no diplomat either. Nope. <laughs> we, all, I have other problems we only know how to uh, swing our sword around. What we need is a skilled arbitrator. And I may know just the person. Our uncle. Is that so? <laughs> and would he happen to be an outlaw too? Of a different kind, perhaps. Well, beggars can't be choosers. I suppose we'll all have to find a little of the outlaw in ourselves if we're to make it through this. Uh. Very well. Send your man to oh, me right away. So it's not our uncle. I shall. Mm, who could it be? Uh, my lord Marquis. Your lord uncle bade me escort the field marshal to his manor in Port Isolde. And I will see that my associate joins you there. Very good, my lord. Very good. An envoy. I'm not sure I'm the man to talk anyone round. I can barely convince my brother to take his medicine. <laughs> no. This is a job for someone with experience. Who would that be? Jim? Someone like Quinton. Oh, Quinn. Oh. I hope I can convince him at least. Yes, Quinton. That's a good choice, actually. He used to run a whole town. Uh, I think we're good in this area, so let's move on to a different area. Let's go here. On the boss key! Are you still playing uh, Oracle of Seasons? Curious how many quests I have active. I have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's nine. Uh, so five. I have eight. Eight side quests in the main quest. Jesus. Just turned it on. How you have? Are you uh, going to bed later than usual today? That's an interesting point that he makes, like, again, Clive and his brother are, like, superhumans, <laughs> for sure. He can, he can easily just get so much ass, but politics, though, that's a whole different realm, a whole different set of foolishness <laughs> to deal with. I could never do anything with politics. I can't even like for what he believed was right. Even like with small groups, <laughs> let alone it wasn't until that night big groups. The Phoenix Gate that I realized I had never fought for anything. I always had someone else to do the fighting for me. Mm -hmm. No matter how fate conspired against him. He never lost heart, never looked back, never stopped fighting. Stopped fighting. To me, he was the greatest of men. The greatest. I've been trying to live up to his ideals ever since. We all have, Clive. We all have. And we'll keep trying. Because that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> what he would have done himself. <laughs> Even if it meant standing against the very gods in the heavens. I shall be borrowing this, father, if I may. That you might watch over us. As we follow in your footsteps. Hmm. 
Is something wrong, Clive? It's his daddy. Interesting enough, this is actually his dad's garments that he's wearing right now. His armor set. It's kind of wild. Onward then. Onward. Onward. To the end. Quest complete. To a new beginning. It's complete. Nice. Rusted Battle Helm. Yep, displayed in Clive's chambers. Alright, another... Whoa. Joining hands with Joshua. Joshua has joined Clive's party and will remain with him until departing for Origin. What? <laughs> I thought he was gonna run around with us regardless. Alright. Nothing here. Go here. We we'll go talk to Quentin, right? Yeah. Talk to Quentin. Have him uh, run the political train. Because Clive can't. <laughs> or he's not good at it. It's interesting that we're just running through these vine things. You know, it looks like there's hitboxes that we have to like run through. Quinton. I have a proposal for you. Do you now? Do you now? Something tells me you'll be asking more of me than a cask of goat and gold. A what? Go on then. Propose. Wait, okay, someone told me this looks like James Bond, <laughs> but if he let himself go, it's pretty funny. You'd have me convinced the chiefs and chamberlains of the realm that they should simply it's like the same their pride face shape and do the one thing that has proved impossible for thousands of years. Was there anything else? Perhaps I can fetch you a meat pie as well. Meat pie? Oh, it's a lot to ask. But I can think of none better suited to the role. And you'd have me give up what little I have left to do it. I told you, Clive. The people of Lost Wing are my family. And I cannot abandon them. See it, son? You'll have to find someone else. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. So am I. So am I. And why might that be? What he's asking. How's it any different to what you've done so far? True. They want you to speak for those. So, yeah, so that's the bearer's themselves. mark. That's what you do best. The branded mark. And yeah, Clive used to have that on his face too, but somehow they were able to harm it out. <laughs> more or less. Not that. It's pretty wild. You said yourself we're family. Don't you trust us? You know that's not what I'm. Then what are you? <laughs> That only we are worth saving. Why turn your back on everyone else? You convinced us we could build new lives for ourselves, and if you can do that, who's to say you couldn't convince the entire realm? A <laughs> stirring argument. Yeah. I fear that any rejoinder I make might fall somewhat flat by comparison. So you'll join us? <sighs> Where do you need me? Field Marshal Havel will want to speak with you in person. He's currently in Port Isolde. I can arrange for a party of curse breakers to accompany you there. That would be very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I hear the roads are far from safe. Yeah, there's monsters everywhere. Hopefully not for long. My uncle will want to know that his plan is taking shape. Uncle. Alright, so there's two things in the hideaway. Uh, we can go there. There's a bunch of stuff over there. Let's do the hideaway stuff first, and then we'll go over to Ash and do a bunch of stuff. We're actually uh, going to be wrapping up all these side quests pretty quick. There's Uncle now. Uncle, 
Oh yeah, I saw that there's gonna be a animated Bruce Lee TV show coming. I shared it on my Facebook. I didn't doubt you for a moment. Facebook feed. Rutherford is accompanying him back to your manor in Porter's Alder as we speak. Let me double check that post. As will one other. Yeah, Bruce Lee animated series exactly. called House of Lee. Was concerned that even if he it's supposed to be coming to agree to fairly war, soon. He it's might pretty cool. Be successful in convincing those with political power. He asked if I might have a solution, and I suggested a certain Imperial Lord Magistrate turned Liberator. One of your co-conspirators. Sounds cool. Mr. Yeah. Would probably call me one of his. Yeah, remembered it because. Uncle. <laughs> Uncle reminded me of Jackie Chan Adventures. And of course, Jackie Chan reminds me kind of of Bruce Lee. Because of martial arts. <laughs> but yeah, that would be pretty cool. I don't know how, like... So it's animated, but we don't know, like, if it's going to be more comedic or more, like... I don't know. Serious, I guess. Because we'll just wait and see. The seven high houses will be seen to that. Seven high houses. To make the most generous of donations. Oh, of course, it did take a little persuasion, but luckily I had some unexpected help. From who? Why you, my boy? <laughs> Rumor has it that you rescued the Lady Ariane's head steward Rockford from a horde of bloodthirsty bandits. It was more of a handful. Well, the old battleaxe was so pleased. She had a shipload of talents delivered to my private docks by the next new moon. <laughs> Yay. And when the other houses saw the parsimonious old crone's purse strings finally loosen, they as good as tripped over themselves in the rush to follow suit. <laughs> I'm happy to hear this. <laughs> now, I must be getting back to the manor. Join us there at your earliest convenience, would you? Would you? Of course, Uncle. Yeah, it's fine because, again, I've been staying at home for the past four or five days. And I have not had a boba since then. <laughs> and how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? you find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Yeah, I miss Boba. Maybe I'll go get one tomorrow. I feel like I should be able to walk tomorrow. I'll probably still take some Advil just to ensure <laughs> my ability to walk. But I may, gentlemen, perhaps I might suggest an alternative approach. Yeah, I feel like I am healing pretty quickly. I mean, my, the last time I uh, sprained my ankle like this. It was actually my right ankle, but that was like, I'm trying to remember, four years ago? Kind of the same scenario, unfortunately, just some guy just decided to just go under the net. Even though I tried my best to not uh, be too close to the net, but yeah. Anywho, <laughs> uh, that one... I'm pretty sure. So I did it on a Saturday. And I think I went into work on the Monday. Of course, I was limping. But I was definitely limping. I don't think I took Advil that time. But either way, it took me about a month for me to feel comfortable to go play again. Even then, it was still like. Upstanding young gentleman. Injured, <laughs> so I didn't really uh, play that, uh, you know, intensely when I first came back, like a month later, to volleyball. Um, and I think I, it's not until like the second or third month that I can actually play back to normal. Um, I will say I wasn't as on top of recovery as I was this time. We wish simply to um, so far every day I've been, again, icing, or at least putting my ankle in the uh, cold, whether it's ice pack or cold water, <laughs> but also warming it. I do have a heating pad nowadays that I sometimes use, um, but yeah, so I think 
resistance. I think they might even be able to you know, play very conservatively <laughs> if I really wanted to Show them that we next week, but I probably skip out just because I don't like playing when I'm hurt. <laughs> um, lies in my nephew's hands. You haven't had one since Scotland. Wait, so recently? Like, because you went earlier this year, right? Not squander the chance that Clive has given us. We get old, yeah, we get old. Old, now, but that settled, oh, Boba! <laughs> like sprained ankle. But yeah. For what great moment in history uh, there's so many in my area. A little ceremony. It's probably like five or six shops in my area. <laughs> in like a of Thea, five mile radius. <laughs> it's like tri-unity. five to ten mile radius. Just like that many. And I actually found another one that's like on the way to another volleyball place that I've been stopping by. So yeah, that recent uh, boba picture <laughs> where it's bury me in creamy magic. That was from the new shop. <laughs> Little did I know the rest of the day would have been bad. But yeah. I ask only that you trust in the talents of your But yeah, I think it just depends on the situation. I'll just trust or not trust certain players, but no, I thought I was pretty far off the net, but I was actually, as you saw in the screenshots that I took of the player that crossed under. That's like all the way under. <laughs> so yeah, that was really sad. It's pretty messed up. But we'll see. I'm pretty sure he's not going to change how he plays, but we'll see if I go back anytime soon. All right, another side quest down. What was this? Heaven's Cloud. Reduces Heaven's Cloud cooldown time by 2.5. Isn't Heaven's Cloud the ultimate move? Let me see real quick. What's this? What's this? Rick Slayer's belt. Wait. I think so. Oh, it's not. That's next to you. What's Heaven's Cloud? What's this? I don't really like it, though. I feel like this... Well, let me see. I wonder if it tells us... Oops, I keep doing that. I wonder if it tells us if I'm... Recovers more Odin energy. Oops. Uh, details. Increases the number of times ability can be chained. Oh, I have to keep pressing square to jump to the next guy. Landing hits does not fill the limit break gauge, but fills the syntactic gauge, gauge, which is just fine. Uh, what's this do? Oh, attack speed. Oh, I can actually lift up enemies if I press X. Lifting enemies in this manner limits intensity gauge gain, but renders them vul- Oh, so I actually don't want to do it, because I want to upgrade my- or fill up my gauge as much as possible. Anyways, let's go upstairs. What do you think that thing is? And how the hell is it going to do There's something about it. You should have. Welcome back, Sid. Welcome back, Sid. Yay. Welcome back. That's well, Otto. Too much of a pain in the ass, I hope. <laughs> this guy. Truth be told, it was me who suggested roping you in to help with the trial. But from what I hear, things didn't go quite as planned. No, they most certainly did not. Um, does Ember deserve passing marks? I wonder what. I'm gonna say yes, but I wonder if it matters. Ember lost his nerve in the face of a beast of prey, but he didn't lose heart. He pressed on. Well, what happens if you say no? His aim. 
And is that not what we ask of our scouts? Indeed it is. Thank you for your honest appraisal, Sid. The fact remains, however, that Ember will not always have a battle-hardened warrior on hand to pluck him from the jaws of peril. All I have gleaned from this trial is that without someone watching his back, Ember <laughs> is little more than a liability. Wait, Sergeant. Ember still has much to learn, yeah, it's true. teach him. And this time he was found wanting. But I'd say he's due a second chance, nonetheless. After all, he did do as you asked. With a bit of hard work, any hand can be made to hold a blade. True. And any mind can conquer its fears. Also true. But a scout's nose is different. Also true. I've either got one. Okay. <laughs> oh, you ain't. Am I sniffing out that? Also true. Young Ember here has shown he has a conkin and arm. <laughs> conkin. I love his old English speech. Fine. Their wording is one very funny. More chance. I'll do whatever you ask. I'll spend my days and nights in the pit if I have to. Oh. Not the pits. I'll show you. Just you wait. Not the pits. He's going to the pits. <laughs> a brush there, huh? Not the pits. Was in the right place. Just like someone else we know. Boy, it's Clive. <laughs> or Gav, actually. Yeah, Gav. And Clive, actually. Took some of the weight off his shoulders, I reckon. Good night. Just don't tell Gav I said so, will you? I won't have him thinking he's been hard done by. <laughs> Next thing you know, <laughs> he'll be asking for a day off. <sighs> Charles would be a fine thing. Back to work. Back to work. Work, work. Forgive me, Sid. This did not play out as I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Things really do these days. But that's why we need men like Ember more than ever. Men who can make the best out of a bad situation. Remember that. Mm. I, I will, Sid. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. That's complete. I think we're down to four quests or so. Power drive. Oh, I don't use it. Um, I can pick up the Genji gloves. Well, there's more hunts now. I don't know why they unlocked all of a sudden, but probably because maybe I have to get to a certain renown rank. Is a generous lot. All yours. It's the last one. I don't know what this last one. All done gonna be this way. Right. It's the Genji gloves do increases damage dealt to enemies by five percent. Ooh, that's across everything. I think that's better than the five hundred HP. Five hundred HP isn't that much. It's like half a potion worth of HP. Or right. if the rest of the hunts are opened up. Find out. Nope, just two of them. It's got Knight of the Splendid Heart and the Grim Reaper. Let me let's write them down. Uh, oops. So we got the Grim Reaper. And Knight of the Splendid Heart. This is the next two months. Not sure if I'll do them, but they're there, and I can leave it for next time if anything. I kind of really do want to get all the hunts. Completed. Oh, there's another quest. <laughs> so many quests. Quests. Mid. Tell me this is all you need. 
all this. You make it sound like I asked you to save the world or something. <laughs> Tell me, this is all you need. It's most nah. what I need. After you left, I went over the figures again, and I realized I'd forgotten a one and a zero. <laughs> and and a cogwheel. A cogwheel. Just a tiny one. Though that's the problem. Gears that small are a bastard to make, and I may have lost the one Blackthorn spent a fortnight toiling over. Oh no. Wait. The oh children. no. When they took apart your scales, it was a tiny brass gear. Oh yeah. Now that I think about it, I... They didn't use it when we put the scales back oh, together. Oh, so she they didn't lo it. lose it. But why would the... You know what? I don't want to know. I'll keep working on the model. You go and find that cog. At least it's here. <laughs> I don't have to go hunting for it. I talk to these kids. Midadol mentioned a new project yet. You seen to this cog? Is Mid still hiding from us? She wasn't hiding. She's fine. She's just busy working on her next project. A new invention? What is it? What is it? A secret. It's an airship. <laughs> I bet it's an airship. They knew. Do you think she'll let us help? That just so happens to be why I'm here. She needs something special, something only you three can provide. A brass gear. A tiny one. One that might fit on, say, a set of scales. Oh, the one you forgot. We remember. We saved it, just in case. It's in the bag of bits. Bag of bits. Since your lesson, we've been disassembling, then reassembling everything <laughs> we can find. Everything. All the pieces that are left over, we keep under our beds, just in case. <laughs> oh, what? That's <laughs> good to know. Wait, 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 why are there extra pieces when you're reassembling things? I found it. Hell yeah. Is that all? Just the gear? We have more parts if Mid needs them. That's all for now. But I'll let Mid know about your <laughs> hoard. Just in case. Back of bits. Grass cog wheel. I love how it's like a rare item. Even though it's just a component to the side quest. Here you go, Mid. Well, did they have it? I bet they did. They did. And they kept it somewhere nice and safe. Will it work? Will it work? He's perfect! You're a genius, Clive. What exactly are you going to use it for? Only the most important job of all. The wings aren't going to move on their own. But with the right cog in the right place... Oh, what? Well, you just wait and see. Interesting. Oh, it's for our little, uh... Prototype, so yeah, just a little tiny thing of it. I was like, I should do it. Now, I think this actually looks just like one of the airships from the original Final Fantasies with the pillars with the propellers on it, like that. That's pretty cool. And it's probably the high wind. High wind in one of the old Final Fantasies. I forgot. It wasn't which supposed one. to fly, was it? Of course, it was supposed to fly. Wouldn't be much of an airship if it didn't. True. Well, I just need something that will keep the propellers Honestly, going. These bloody engines are driving me mad. The Highlands. High winds. I was so sure this would be the day she saw it. The Mithril engine was made to make dreams come true. But maybe this is one dream the world's better off without. Nah, we need it, girl. <laughs> Can't beat the game without it. It won't be long till they're raining death down on each other. Oh. People will lose their homes. True. Children, their mums, and their dads. They always seem to weaponize everything. Like I lost mine. But we need it. 
need it to get to the final level. So am I, Clive. So am I. Sorry that I have to choose. Do I follow my head? Or do I follow my heart? Listen to your heart. And it's coming for you. <laughs> First time I stood on the deck of your ship, felt the wind in my hair. It was like I was flying. Oh. But imagine how it would feel to actually do it. <laughs> My dad always said there were two ways of living life. Chasing a dream or mm. shuffling to your grave. So we should all be dream hunters. And right. Right about a lot of things. Not that I like to admit it. Chase your dreams, folks. People need dreams to chase. Mm -hmm. Especially in a world like this. Right. She's gonna do it. When this is over, I'm gonna take all my mithril engines to Zemeckis and sling them over the edge. I won't have my dream end up turning into someone oh. else's nightmare. That's true too. But all that hard work. All that hard work will not be used for war, Jamie. But it ain't like it'll be gone. <laughs> so keep the blueprints. Tell me, Clive, have you ever been on a treasure hunt? Not since Joshua and I were boys. Why do you ask? Because I'm going to bury the engine schematics and leave behind a little riddle telling people where to find them. <laughs> a really hard one. It's good because this song that's playing right now, it's similar to one in Final Fantasy 15. But it sounds like the... which one? I want to say Cape KM theme song. Might be a different on his mug. area in that game. Like that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we're not gonna get airship. Dang it. Thought we need it for the main quest. Oh. It's not over. Of course. If I'm putting this engine at the end of a treasure hunt. I'll still need to make it a treasure worth hunting for. Won't be much of a prize if it couldn't even make a toy boat fly after all. <laughs> My dad always said, dream big. Dream big. But it ain't the size of a dream that's important, is it, Clive? Only that it's a good one. And I reckon I've got a fair few good ones left in me. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Model airship. Kind of sad we're not going to get an airship in this game. Has Midadol mentioned? Uh, I guess that means we're going to be flying. The new project yet? Uh, flying to uh, the final area from uh, Dion. It's gonna transform into Bahamut. We're gonna ride there. Even though maybe Joshua could fly us there too, but I guess he doesn't want to. Let me see something. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Gav. Right. Something troubling you? Uh, no more than usual. It's just yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I oh. wanted to make something for it. I'm, I'm sure proud about her, that. actually. Back in the north, the woman we found in a deserted town. Ben was on the way. Yeah, I let the little she was a uh, pregnant. The new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Pumpkin time. Oh yeah, it is pumpkin time. It's been then. I may go ahead and go so that I can do things before bed. It was good seeing you, and I will catch you again soon. Be easy. Yes, sir. Thanks for stopping by, Rex, sir, as always. Need to help. Be a good night, and I will see you in the future. Just might be. All right, then. 
Of course, I'll keep the Discord updated on my healing process. My ankle. But honestly, just sitting here massaging my ankle has made it feel better. But yeah, hopefully I can uh, go back to walking normally. Hopefully even tomorrow, but I have a feeling it won't be good to walk normally until like the end of next week. I think what's happening is my tendons are getting stiff. Only the big day is fast approaching. So I just gotta keep moving it around so it doesn't all you need. stiffen up. A feather. That or the bird feather. Horse it's attached to, I... <laughs> I was gonna stop by bird. asking with traveling traders playing the northern borders. The bird. Well, there's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. I won't forget this. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's see what this other quest is in the room. My book. Whee. Know what we got? Concern for Jill. Wages of fate. Newborn. That which conquers us all. Fine hound. All right, Jill. Uh, though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart. And we will be poor friends indeed if we not seek to lighten that burden, even but only a fraction. Before we depart from the skies, I would speak on this more in private. Yeah, we definitely want to follow up on if Jill. If worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. So even though we took her powers, per se, she still has some of it. So you can still prime... Meaning, actually summon, oops, summon the, uh, idol, or icon. What's up, Josh? Oh, adorable. Joshua, I read your message. And Jill is different. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. Belongs. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. So just because she's not a bearer anymore. But you still need her. I feel like she still is. How to do that. I don't know. Last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? Duchy. Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. Yeah, to see the snow daisies, I remember. Snow daisies. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> In the rain. <laughs> A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. And then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. Thank you, sis. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? <laughs> I'll be nice. Alright. Uh, let me see, anything else we can do here? Nothing else here, so let's go onto the field. Oh, there's something right here. Let's 
Snow Daisy. Enemy. Both. So it's a pluck dry. This is the place, but I'm sorry, Clive. It's the blight. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. You. No well. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard. To the hideaway, then. Mm. We just got here. <laughs> Is there anything back here? I'm actually surprised we've never been back here, but it's a very small crevice. So. Let me rest. Something over here we can do. I think with Gav, right? I don't remember. Oh, hello. Let's hope one of the merchants here has what Gav needs. Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> a silver chocobo feather. Oh. Oh, or maybe not. <laughs> no. You're not the first to mention the bird around here. The bird. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Chocobo. Near some guide hovel, not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. Thank you. Oh, what? Something else here? Just because the heavens have gone to reckon with it. Doesn't still hurt, does it? Can I help you with Summit? Summit? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? <laughs> By dealing for <laughs> not fancies. Okay. But if it's fancies you're after, I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Rhiannon's ride. There's a silver chocobo scene there. Oh, yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, it's like, but I do. I not really like this quest. Because <laughs> there's a certain area for more information. That's not the way. We've got a few rooms going somewhere now. Anybody else know anything about silver chocobos? Somebody. How do traveler? Oh, I did not Welcome expect your voice to sound like that. <laughs> I don't know why. Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the vice reen. Uh, maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is, they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring <laughs> she their snorted. Lunch, nor their bows. Their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably Fair. right. Thank you anyway. 
A silver chocobo sighted in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. It sounds... That's where we're going. Chocobo tracks. They're not left by bandits for a change. Oh, not that way, though. Oh, probably up there. Chocobo Chocobo More tracks And these look fresh The Chocobo was here And recently Chocobo he still is Oh yeah. Just give me that feather and I'll be on my way. Well I'll be damned. So we're gonna get attacked by it. Yep. So we just want your feather, we don't need to kill you. Oh, it's with Ambrosia? No. Why can't we just take a feather from Ambrosia? Because <laughs> they're like the same color as these white chocobos or silver. It's all right. Silver chocobos. Just borrowing a feather for my friend. <laughs> it's like good. Thank you. Let's get this back together before they change their minds. Yeah, <laughs> don't want any trouble. Uh, nothing else here. Yep. Alright, I think after this we move. Will... Well, I guess we'll see what we can do. Then you go to Ash, do all the three or four quests over there. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where to find snow daisies. It was no Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? <laughs> yes. Plenty of luck. Crystals crack. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there's been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on East Pool's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home, trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon <laughs> a lot you don't know about me. Surprise. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. 
actually one of my own at last. Wait, is this a different ember or is that the same ember? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what he looks up. Don't speak too soon. Pretty sure it's the same scout. There we go. Yeah. Nice. It's like a pendant. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I? <laughs> I should go and see if Ed is awake. Good Aww. Best. Is he gonna romance her? You can give it to yourself. Cute. Come on. Oh. She in the infirmary, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, we want to go the other way for the other quests, and we can teleport and go to the infirmary. Say what you will. Uh, I'm not in the right spot. There we go. Hello. Oh. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? The heavens? <laughs> She's fighting with us. For a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You're so smart. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Oilerfeist. The shores border the meadows. Off we go then. Off we go. Let's teleport us back to the front. And then we can go to the infirmary. So she gave birth to her baby. Nope. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, uh what it is is. Uh, uh, uh go on please take this it's beautiful did you make it we did i uh it's from all of us here at the hideaway your new family like <laughs> it's a good luck charm we may come up north when a band's on the way I mean, a, a <laughs> he likes her. Let him know oh, she's cute. Part of the family too. Oh, I, I, yeah, she's technically a widow. I, I don't know what to say. Hey, she is a widow. I thank you, my lords, for everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah, oh, Clive, fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. <laughs> He's gonna like spill the beans that he likes her or something. <laughs> Dang. Don't you think you've had enough? Oh, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. 
A what? I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. Bit of light in these dark times. <sighs> Wasn't long after me tenth name day, my mum told us she was with child again. <laughs> I was over the fucking moon. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What well, with me being the runt of the litter. Mm -hmm. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into oh. labor. Had myself a baby sister. And then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Ben. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader. And I'll never be a hero. I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls. I'll never be like you, or Sid, or Jill, or even the <laughs> Even the dog. You just said you were a dog. Have you finished? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Best scout. Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like. Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. <laughs> You learn from it, and here you are after founder knows how many missions, stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. <laughs> Bingo. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. Your brother. Which means that when the time comes, oh. I get your room and your sword. <laughs> uh. That foreshadowing. Something gonna happen to Clive. So anything is building up similar to again FF fifteen. I may have had one too many. But you may have had ten too many. Shoot. A lot. Ah, I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. <laughs> uh, Clive. What is it? Thanks for, you know. I know. What do we know? <laughs> what do we know? What do we know? What you mean? <laughs> Said I was thirsty. But what do we know? Alright, uh, I think we're done here. Uh, let's go get this flower.
And now my eye out the garrison today. Oh yeah, so. I'm actually straight, straight and left. Haven't seen any of those beastly. Do be careful. I will. I will. Let's see it. This is nice, just a quiet chocobo red through the meadows. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there. Yep, we see him. Oh, we can't hit the ones that are in the sky. I probably need level 5 for these. Oh nice, that's it. Uh oh. Not quite it. What do you see, boy? Dragon. Big troll minotaur guy. <laughs> it's a minotaur. Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. I haven't fought a Minotaur in a long time. Me too. Oh, these guys weren't spawned in yet. Level three should be enough, right? Not there behind us. <laughs> nice. 
Let's give that flower. It's our Minotaur main. That was harder than I expected. But not hard enough. But found her. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. Are we gonna bring her here? Or are we gonna collect them? Well, I guess we're gonna bring her here. We're not gonna bring her there. <laughs> It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? No. I guess we have to talk to Jill to bring her there. Where's Jill? In my balcony. On my balcony. I think as long as there's no new side quests, <laughs> I should be able to finish the ones I have before I head out for there's tonight. I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? <laughs> She's like, okay. There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. <laughs> the smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. You remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> Try to. How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern <laughs> from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects oh. with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. Me. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. Yeah. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. <laughs> and I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? What you do? <laughs> I slipped away from my governess to climb the tor. And from there I saw a 
a sea of petals, wow. all reaching for the sun. And I realized that no matter mm. how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, no. that you would always come for me. No. And you have again and again. <sighs> Where do you see us? When all this is over. By your side. Not here, though. <laughs> I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, mm -hmm. the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to mm -hmm. spread my wings. Then. That's what you'll have. Aww. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. So cute. I'm gonna put it on my wall. Thank you, Clive. For this, the flowers, uh, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You Aww. are my treasure. The payout. I mean, they already paid it off earlier, like their relationship, but it's extra fan service. Best complete? No? No. Oh. <laughs> What's here with that quest complete? We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. I wonder if she'll, uh, she'll also accompany us. Until uh, we go to the origin. Nice. She must kiss. We use the diamond dust cooldown by Seb. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm not using Shiva though, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I feel like diamond just kind of regenerates fast anyway. So yeah. Oh yeah, she's gonna stay with us. Hell yeah. Nice. Alright, where else we got? Alright, looks like it's only the Ash side quest left. So let's do them. Uh, let's do this one down here. I think this one's closer. I think this one's closer. Edge of Infinity. Alright, so there's four more quests and head out for the Evening. Fly Ambrosia. That's very cute though. My favorite uh, interaction with them so far. And uh, this way. Another one of these. Mistakes.
Wait, did we fight the defense orb back here? No, never mind. Take it back. Thanks, girl. Um. Oh, what? There's a whole city here. <laughs> Eat the coal. No, I. I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I. I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this. where you live? This is my home. <laughs> this is mine. The others. They. They heeded the call. You keep saying that. What do you mean? That's very freaky. They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Come Akashic. Give themselves. Oh, Lord. Cleanse us of our sins. Feel like they're gonna become a Kashik. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me. But did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He's staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. <sighs> at least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Hello? Oh. Excuse me. Are you with the Undying? Oh, that's the Undying. I am. And so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Oh, yeah. And I must apologize. So they're finally... I don't mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill. Much less you, my lord Marquis. Try to make it so they don't, uh, court. just... Is there a reason sacrifice themselves needlessly? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. Oh. Seen them at their prayers, have you not? They're very devout. They devote themselves to the veneration of their Lord with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their Savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue. To serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... It is different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> Even if it should keep me from
from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become Akashic. Yeah. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord. But I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Oh, there we transformed. Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go find out what. Stay here. Or maybe the door lift, whatever, opened or went down. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Aether Flood. They definitely turn into a Keshek. Aether Flood. We'll definitely have to kill them all. No. Oh. Echoes as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Ready. Finish them. Easy. <laughs> Easy. They're all going to turn. Oh, nope. It's going to be a big boy coming up. Big boy. How big is a big boy? Pretty big. <laughs> we got a fire giant this time. So we fought an iron giant, fire giant, gold giant. Titus. Oh. Oh, that was early. That was a bad time to transform. Ow. 
I'll do level two. Finish it. Nice. All in iron. What about everybody else? Oh no! Not our guy! themselves to the service of their lord just as i did when the undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in a duty to serve was everything to me and i would not deny them that fulfillment even if they must become a Kashik, in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Will they all turn to Kashik? Look, yep, my Lord. probably. They are saved. Yep. So crazy. It's crazier that they don't actually don't. Uh, attack us. Oh wow, teleport is back. Sometime later. Saved. Sander. So I'm saying. I should get this report to Cyril. Is there right here? Yeah. My Lord Marquis. Welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Nickelberg. Rest in peace. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickelberg. I'm... Uh -oh. Sorry that I couldn't save him. Mickelberg was the city. Could not save him, no one could. The villagers, they were... Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live, even knowing that that life was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. Mm. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. Huh. Sid would agree. 
He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right? I believe that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. And this was his will, the ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the Undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same. Yes. Oh, more Ori Chalcum. So I can actually craft one of the Orbos armor pieces. Until I get a second Ori Chalcum, then I won't make both. There's no guarantee that they're actually better than some of the armors that I have now. They opened up my mind. Not sure where that came from and what that things about, but just gonna keep on going. Alright, three more side quests. Let's do it. I feel like some of these should be quick. Uh, can I ride my chocobo up here? Doris is waiting for me near Balmond Dark. The longer she's out in the open, the more likely she is to be found by a Kashik. I need to hurry. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. All right. Here be Rossfields. Or what? Doris? There were no guards, I take it. None manning the gates, no. It's a different story inside, though. The corridors are crawling with the Kashik. Most likely guards left behind when the wardens ran. If Chadwick was being held here... Chadwick. <laughs> I worry that he may already be. Don't give up hope just yet. But let's move quickly. Yeah, bearers still have like some resistance to aether poisoning or whatever. Then I'll search the upper level. But good luck. You know, you only take so much <laughs> before you transform. I think dominance are just totally immune though. Um I wonder about X dominance. Just how bad are the floods inside the walls? Bad enough to turn a bearer. I was like, do I have a key? <laughs> I don't even have a key. Locked out tight.
key. Not a key. Uh, the Kingdom of Walud hereby designates this facility a prison for the detainment of bearers, both foreign and domestic. The purpose of this facility is to rear and train a Kuza beast for deployment in the field. The affirmation and purpose is a matter of strictest secrecy, and any mention thereof is to be punishable by death. Uh, captive bearers have been provided solely for the perusal of the aforementioned purpose. Aforementioned purpose. Express permission is required for use of bearers in any other capacity. So this place was no ordinary prison. It's a research they facility. Taking the creature with them when they fled. Let's train up a BLW, pretty much. Hello. No sign of oh. any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. We're not alone. Have care. We're not alone. Have care. Oh, chest. No key, though. Uh, did we just jump down? we got here a uh, recommendation concerning kuza beast deployment the kuza has long been recognized as an especially aggressive species this being the case it was hoped that successful deployment on the battlefield might be a means of inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy in exercises conducted thus far however the beast has proven incapable of in er, of distinguishing between allied and enemy combatants as such deployment alongside regular troops is not recommended it is proposed instead that bearer captives be employed in order to draw enemy focus and the beasts then driven into the fray in order to achieve maximum benefit with minimal loss of Waluder uh, lives. Minimal loss of Waluder lives. So what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. Messed up. the key. Nope, it's the last document. Uh, memorandum on Kuza Beast Feeding. Recent supply shortages left us with insufficient resources to feed the Kuza entrusting to our care. Fortunately, the creature was observed to kill and consume the bearers assigned to fight beside it in a mock battle conducted as part of its training. The beast was further observed to enter a state of visible contentment upon feeding in this way. Suggesting that live bears may even be its preferred source of sustenance. While this behavior is unexpected, it is not unwelcome. Bears no longer of use for training purposes can now be repurposed as required. They were feeding bears to it. 
This is even worse than I feared. Yeah, I had a feeling they were doing. Nothing but a caching down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. You have a key, Doris? We need one. Go to the other gate so we can destroy this. Kuz... Kuze? I remember what kind of beast it is. Downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... Not like this. This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? And all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even. And those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of. Whatever that means. I'm afraid... It means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. Did you find anything else? A key. E. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Exactly where that goes. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here. Then come and find me when you're ready. All right. Ready. I'll be there in a moment. Taylor's key. All right, time to fight some beast. Release lock. Let's see what we can find down here. <laughs> you lose one jailer's key. We definitely have to fight in there. Amber. Oh. I a survivor. Yeah, girl. And she sounds close. Oh, there she is. Oh, poor girl. Who are you? There's no need to be afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> Of course they were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadwick sent you? Jadwick? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others, too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? He wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Uh-oh. What that? if it's a chimera? Monsters chimera type. Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. It is a chimera. For me, I can't let it live. That's a behemoth. Not if it's got a taste for bearers. It's behemoth. It's like a greater behemoth. All right, I'm ready. He won't charge us out of battle. It would be cheap if we could do that, but. Ooh. 
It's whack. Who's that beast? Oh, it's a hunt. I kind of wish I had swapped out uh, Odin. I'm done. Oh, made it. That looks so dumb. Get down. <laughs> oh, I can't see. <laughs> I didn't realize it was dying already. But I did use a strength potion or whatever, so. Nice. Finally. Sid, are you hurt? My. Use my potion, sir. Fine, I think. I wonder which hunt that counted as. Oh, <laughs> wait, look at me like that. That was Chadwick's book. Oh, no, what is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. Took us back to the hideout. It's fine. We can get some more potions. Here's the thing, I think the I hear, you've barely highest the level hunt was level 50, days. which was the dragon we fought I hope she's earlier. Recovering from her ordeal. She is. Yeah, everything else Slowly, is... But surely. At least the highest is like 45, 46. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... This one's 47, but... But we did. 
I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. Yeah. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. <laughs> For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then... One day, we just couldn't do them anymore, so we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you. Quest to complete. Nobody's too Oh, we level up. Yes. Nice. I wonder what the highest level is. I'm still interested. Finding out. Man, it's like this thing cools down so fast, but really. Let me cool down some more. Technically, that kind of helps with the cooldown for Zetetsukin. Alright, just two more. Ow. Oh, some more hunts opened up. How many hunts? Oh, this one opened up, but we killed it. Just that one, the Masterless Marat. Add it to the list. Oh yeah, it's another Behemoth hunt. You know, I won't do those right now. That's what the side quests to be completed. But yeah, let me grab potions and stuff before I run off. There's something about it. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and take time to finish the last two side quests here. Clive. Clive. What's up? Karen. Karen. Uh, oh yeah, so what have I? A bunch of potions. You'll not find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. Frozen tear. No scale. Got it on. Chalkum. Five now. Yeah, you can definitely. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? Well, I reckon I can find a buyer. I'll be thankful you got that much. You got out else? Is that all? Pretty sure I can make all these legendary orbos armors. So will it be? So I need three total. Just need one for this one. No scratches, right? Need one for this one. Should last you a good while. I believe those are indeed the best in the game. I just need this dark steel wherever hey. that's from. Fine. Probably from one of these hunts. Oop.
Mm, Alright. I'm gonna save then. Try to finish these last two. As quickly as possible. So I can go to bed if anything. But I do need to have dinner. Yeah, 48. Definitely getting there. More if the max level is 50. Oh, that's a big boy. That's one of the hunts, probably. That's definitely a hunt. Let's go and fight it. <laughs> it's in our face. I definitely should have swapped over to... Uh... Thing, my jigger. Or oh, horse, man. Uh-huh. Yeah, if it's pretty much the same moveset, then it should be pretty easy. Dodge again. How much damage will this do? Oh, that's a lot. Hundred and forty. I'm gonna charge this up for the next round. That was a lot of damage. Apocalypse. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep dodging because there was shit going on. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Does that one shot me or... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if that actually one shot me because... I don't know if I was at full health or not. But... Wow.
fuck. Oh. God damn it. Oh wow. Shit. I think we're gonna be able to kill him. So I'm gonna unload everything on him. Finish it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. We're gonna have some extra orange talcum. No match for you, I toggle. Oh, sir. All right, the behemoth is down. I think there's still three more hunts. Haven't done yet. I forgot what we're looking for, uh. Looking for a scroll that's been lost. Push it. Wait, I think I've been in this town. There was nothing, because, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have this quest activated. Intelligence Sir training report. In the wake of the tragic fire at Cairn Norvent in 873V, in the subsequent depletion of our most highly practiced elect uh, intelligencers, <laughs> all mainland strongholds were instructed to redouble training to cladenstein maneuvers. 
I improvised weaponry and assassination techniques and dispatched promising volunteers to strong her uh, for inspection. This report uh, details progress made by the stronghold at Garnick in reinvigorating Walud's ranks of esteemed intelligencers. This is a Royal Army log uh, Complete botany of Banes. Tale of Wyvern. I'm not even going to try to say it's a scientific name. White of flower and black of root, the latter of which gives out an inky gall when cut or crushed. The tribesmen of Northern Storm prick their skin with oaken needles soaked in such, uh, drawing curious patterns uh, about their arms and legs in honor of their heathen gods. So it's kind of like tattoos. Uh, the gall is passing a uh, toxicate uh, that a single drop taken by mouth may result in cramps most painful for five days and five nights. Or if applied to a wound, sir, death. Uh, should a slip of the needle end a young warrior's life, it is said that his skin print failed to find favor among he the uh, heavens. It's very similar to, uh, like I'm branding people. Uh, the folklorist of Fabulary? The Moogle. No spirit or sprite appears more often in Valestian uh, folktales than the humble Moogle. Though they are occasionally painted as mischievous souls akin to pixies or imps, most stories depict them as clumsy yet congenial spirits who delight in helping mankind with their daily labors. They are said to have sweet tooths, leading to the common superstition that one must not leave cakes or other sweet meats uncovered overnight, lest not remain but crumbs come morning. In appearance, they are described as being covered head to toe in soft white fur, excepting the small dark wings by which they are somehow able to take flight, and the brightly colored pom-poms that protrude from the tops of their heads. And yet, there is one detail regarding the Moogle that one or that most find more remarkable than even the orb that tops its brow. Uh, the fact that the creatures actually exist. Preposterous, I hear you cry. Everybody knows that Moogles are the stuff of legend. I quite agree, but every legend has its basis in truth. And in the case of the Moogle, the fact may be not so dissimilar uh, to the fiction. Ancient bestiaries list the white mole, uh, whose feet do not touch the ground, among the beasts of the realm, and the illusion, or and the illustration besides the name, or beside the name. Why, it is none other than the Moogle. I read that totally rushed. Of course, it is true that the creatures are not known to still survive in the twins in the modern day. Perhaps their miniature wings carried them to other climes. Uh, perhaps they are hunted to extinction. Or perhaps, just perhaps, they do still live among us, hidden f away from human view. His interests were certainly varied. Uh, from a distance, chapter 16, The Fall of the Bearers. The emergence of the first magic adepts was widely heralded, or heralded as a gift from the gods. Indeed, the title with which those with the gift came to be commonly known as, or known is most likely a contraction of bearer of the heavenly blessing. The wording used by the tribunes of the time, those born with the blessing were lauded as living crystals and granted high office and plentiful reward for their status as chosen ones. Over the years, this reverence for their kind would become a full-fledged religion led by the bearers themselves, a development that would prove fateful. Uh, the diverse nations, or diverse nations of the time were unanimous of their disapproval of the founding of the church. While the authorities had for years welcomed the bearers into positions of power in their own structures of state, they were mistrusting of an organization led by bearers for bearers. Uh, efforts were, uh, were immediately made to chasten the church and, and its followers, banning members from holding office, evicting adherents from their homes, and breaking up meeting by force. Uh, the church responded by forming a volunteer army to resist this persecution, and yet it continued, creating a cycle of never-ending are of ever increasing bloodshed and rancor and a growing rift between those born with the blessing and those without uh, what began with beatings and street clashings would eventually spill over into an all-out war that consumed the greater part of the twins for nigh a generation and decimated the population of men and bears both the deluge of blood that stained the land crimson and left even more everlasting mark upon the minds of the Vestian people 
Uh, after the bears, the last resistance was crushed. The nations of Alstia came together to sign the Continental Accord that initiated the system of slavery that persists across the realm to this day. It's well known for his bears are other than human, had its roots in the bitter war of the years before, being the unblessed only excuse for their calamitous refusal to allow the blessed to decide their own destinies. Uh, so pretty much, uh, it's like the War of the Magi, I think, in um, FF6, where again the Magi fought against like the Normies. Normies had their like machines and stuff. This is it. Um, but if and what yeah. This is true. I need to get this back to the hideaway. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, it wasn't always that bears. Uh, We're uh, hated or whatever. Oh, fighting something, right? Leaving so soon, stranger. Oh. We've been oh. watching you. Oh. From a distance, so to speak. Subtle. I know who you are. Then we need not waste time on introductions. Hand me the book. Nope. Leave it in our care and return to your life. Executor. Do you mean to burn it or bury it? That is not my decision to make. But by one means or another, its contents shall be removed from the common record. Then I'll have to politely refuse. Your know, people gotta know. And you erase our history. Then we find ourselves at an impasse. We fight. Very well. The book can just as easily be pried from your dead hand. We're finding you, or <laughs> oh, just a bunch of Foot Clan people. Let's see, shall we? We got a big boy. Oh wow! It actually cancels if I'm out of range. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, nice. You got it in the stagger time. He's dead. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. It's the symbol getting cut. Alright. Impressive. Impressive. But we have other means. We shall claim the book yet. Why do you want it so badly anyway? It lays out in no uncertain terms the vanity and avarice of mankind. It tells the shameful history of the persecution and oppression of a gifted few by a giftless many. Would you say that this interpretation was correct? I don't know. You don't know. Your sword may be sharp, but your wits are what? dull. So let me answer for you. There is no correct interpretation of history. That a series of events took place may be proved beyond a doubt. 
but there can be no single, immutable explanation as to why they came to pass. It is a question of numbers and of belief. If enough people believe that a set of events occurred for a reason, that belief becomes the truth. So you're trying to control the truth? We are trying to protect people from themselves, from knowledge that would bring them naught but pain. That is all. You may keep the book for now. <laughs> the world is small. We shall meet again. Until then. Wait. Eh. Ninja out of here. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know though, like Let's get this back to Vivian. I feel like people deserve to know what happened. She can explain what that was all about. Uh -huh. Ready go? Let's see. Mm, all right, almost done. Let's say it's one more major encounter here, and then just gotta turn everything in, and we should be done. Go on the right way. Hope so. I think I have to go around to the... I'm <laughs> sorry, Broja. This must be the orphanage. Hopefully the registry is still here. So maybe we're going inside. Oh, there's a key. I need... Uh, conditioning schedule. Today's exercises will consist of... The press yard. 20 sandbags for each... Or for such duration as instructor shall di dictate. The furnace. Burn intensity to be gradually increased. Live combat. 1, 2, 3 hellhounds depending on performance. Uh, Bad Backs Conservatory, Writ of Incorporation. The Kingdom of Walud hereby incorporates this into uh, institution wherein juvenile bearers are to be granted the opportunity to give themselves in service to the state as soldiers. Trainees succumbing to the crystals, curse or otherwise perishing are uh, to be disposed of with all haste. The graveyard is strictly reserved for the uncursed. Bear disposal within its bounds is punishable by death. Right here. I have recently learned that my own daughter was hidden or was among the children turned to stone by the brutal training I subjected them to. I had not so much as thought of her since or handing her over to the authorities as a babe. But inquiries with the military confirmed it. It was her. I've been torturing my own flesh and blood, and now I see her everywhere. Today, one of the children smiled at me in the hope of receiving a few scraps from my table. It was her smile, the smile she inherited from her mother, the mother I killed for giving birth to a bearer. The ghosts uh, have all come back to haunt me. My daughters, my wives, all of them, all those children, so many have died at my, at my hand. I can bear the guilt no longer, and so I have decided tomorrow I, too, must die. It will be the last order I give those poor wretches, the last torment I subject, subject them to. I will command them to tear me limb from limb and enter my cursed corpse beneath the white tree whose crooked hands reach to sky in supplication. Beside me, my shame, my curse, the record of all their names, all those I have wronged. Oof. Well, this reads like a suicide note. Did uh, this plan? Not quite suicide, more like... Forced, forced homicide. White 
tree. There's the white tree. Ran a potion, chilling in the graveyard. A forked white tree. This must be the place. Could he really be buried here? Watch him actually be alive. There's something hidden among the roots. Let's see. Is it key to the place? This must be the registry. Uh, registry of bearer losses. Hans, Alfred, Franz, Paulina, Bruno, Joanna. So many people. This goes on. So many names. This place was a slaughterhouse. Hmm, this guy. Oh. Oh. So that guy? It was only a matter of time, I suppose. This place is cursed. Another level one. Ah. <laughs> mm. I'm done here. I'm done here. There was a key, or like a door, that I don't think I could open. Let me try check it out. Could be another. S nope. Never mind. So I can still try, but otherwise I'll just turn in these two quests and we'll be good to go. Ooh, eye potion. Oh, probably told us it was locked, and then we had to go elsewhere. Anyways, go ahead and go back home. The next time we will do the rest of the hunts, which probably kind of wants to do it right now, but I won't. I will. Uh, fight the urge. To try to complete everything. Here you go. Vivian. 
I found it. The book you lost. You... You found it. Thank you, Clive. Even though I asked this of you, I was not entirely sure it would be possible. I feared the executors had seized every copy. I met with one of these... executors. And I convinced him to let me keep it. He told me something. That the truth is just a matter of collective belief. And that if enough people believe a lie... ...that lie becomes the truth. It does. But it also means that the truth is not immutable. That it can be changed. Mm, true. Provided that those who wish to change it is it the victor's is the great history or something like that? As the sad history of the bearers proves. You said that the book inspired you to become a scholar. It did. Or its author, rather. She was a heretic, you see. A firebrand and a dissenter. A gallows stood ready for her in every corner of the realm. And by shunning society, or perhaps being shunned by it, she stumbled upon a truth so potent that an entire realm trembled at the prospect of its utterance. I, too, have always felt somehow set apart from the world of men. A stranger to my own species. She taught me that my solitude was not a curse, but a gift. And that, though my journey to the truth might be a lonely one, what I found at my destination would be more than worth the cost. Do you still feel that way? That you're not... one of us? Honestly? I'm not entirely sure anymore. Since coming to the hideaway, I find my thinking somewhat... clouded. Perhaps the result of studying mankind from a rather... closer perspective than I had intended. Mm. But the more I study, the more I find value in this perspective. In looking not from the outside, but from within. So if you'll permit me, I'd like to continue my work here. Remember, Clive, when enough people believe, belief begets truth. Give the men and women of this benighted world the gift of truth. Make them believe in you. As I do. I'll try, Vivian. Be hard. <laughs> try. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll definitely won't uh, level up. Spiders box. Actually, I'm gonna check my wall after I turn in this last. Oh, there's another hunt. Activate it. The Wailing Banshee. Let me see. That is 32, right? These last three? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. Ooh. So it's 20. 25, 32. Yep. These last three hunts are it. Um, yes. Yeah, next time we'll do these three hunts. And then we can go with the next main story quest. I believe I can, yep, pick up. How may I help you today, Clive? This. Oh, this is our last, uh. You earned this. Yeah. Careful, Whisper. The last thing. Do I think that's a song? You know, I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for buying all the songs, too. Um, that was another quest. Yeah, we're definitely not doing it till next time. <laughs> Let's turn in this quest. Activate the next quest, but not actually do it. Jeez, there's <laughs> so much quests. So many quests.
I hear that you traveled to Ash, Sid. Did you by any chance recover the names of my fallen friends? I did. So many. <laughs> yes. If I may, the bearer registry. The director was a brutal man. He got no worse than he deserved. The registry was all I found beneath the tree. There was no sign of a body. Nor any record of what happened to the children after the orphanage closed. I pray that at least some of them survived. All their names are here. The ones we lost. My friends. My light in those dark times. I can still remember their faces. Like it was yesterday. Children who were taken from their bunks in the morning, never to return. No explanation ever offered. They'd be happy to know that you survived, Herman. But why did I make it out alive when so many others died in that awful place? It's not your fault. And blaming yourself won't bring them back. One of their memory. See that their names live on. That way, at least. They're never truly gone. Thank you, Sid. I'm going to write a book. An account of the horrors of Badbach. And the spirit of those its custodians sought to crush. All of Valisthea will know of our suffering. And in the name of those I lost, I will not let it happen again. Neither will I. These records would have been buried for all eternity. Were it not for you. <laughs> Thank you. Your yeah, bears. All right. Teleport back. Let's see what the other quest is all about, and then just head out. We had lots of progress today. It's streaming for almost. We actually streamed for 11 hours. It's crazy. Uh, or is it? I don't know. I feel like I'm used to gaming for a long time. I did get up and stretch earlier, so it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see all the stuff on my wall as well. What we got here? Making amends. Master Clive, I am aware there are matches of much greater importance or import which demand your attention. But should you find yourself a moment, I bid you visit me in the shelves that I might ask a single favor concerning His Highness Prince Dion. Hmm. It's usually me making demands of Hippocrates. I wonder what this is about. I wonder if we get to help Dion and then Dion will like company yes not like there's gonna be much to do anyways but actually it would be nice if we get another person to help out in our hunts i know during hunts their damage is not that much but free damage is always nice all right do we have everything pretty much we're just missing this many things three things Anyways, well guys, it's been good. Hopefully tomorrow I can pick it back up and then we can finish. Finish the fight. Uh, definitely my stream for another 10 hours or whatever. <laughs> I would definitely be done. But if we finish early enough, we can start Persona 5. Again, thanks everyone for coming. Everyone has a good night. And until next time.